Trevor Milton, the founder of Phoenix-based electric and hydrogen-powered truck maker Nikola, was sentenced to four years in prison yesterday for defrauding investors. He was also fined a million dollars and could later be forced to forfeit property as part of a sentence. Milton, who became an overnight billionaire when he took Nikola stock public in June of 2020, was found guilty in October of last year on two counts of wire fraud and one count of securities fraud. His punishment far lower than the 11 years that prosecutors had requested at Milton's sentence. The judge, by the way, allowed Milton to remain free on bail while he appeals his conviction. When Milton took Nikola public in the summer of 2020, the company was quickly considered to be one of the most promising EV startups, valued at a speak at more than $30 billion, until allegations regarding false and misleading statements were uncovered by short seller Hindenburg Research. Will Milton's sentence and shame help to bring Nikola to a grinding halt? Will Nikola go down in flames with its founder? Well, maybe not because of Milton's legal trouble, but the company has veered off the road because of flames. Remember, there was a fire in June at the Nikola facility in Phoenix that destroyed four electric semi-tractors. Back then, a fire department spokesperson said this. The water is cooling these cells down, so it helps the reignition on these cells. Like I said, it's a ton of energy, small amount of space. Then, an electric semi-truck reignited at a Phoenix Nikola facility one month after the original fire. According to the Phoenix Fire Department, the battery cells were burning at over 800 degrees when a semi-truck involved in the June fire experienced, quote, another thermal runaway. Then, a fire on Labor Day at the Arizona Lithium facility in Tempe, where ABC 15's Ashley Paredes confirmed that a certain brand of electric vehicle was involved. Crews on scene found a Nikola semi-truck inside of the building with one of its lithium-ion cell batteries on fire. Yeah, Tempe Fire told us that after the Nikola truck was pulled out of the facility, the battery was disassembled from the truck and submerged in a drum of water, something we've learned recently is the best thing to do with a burning vehicle battery. Drown it or bury it. Then in September, another Nikola truck caught fire in Phoenix. Now, I do have to point out that insurance data shows that the risk of fire in an EV, an electric vehicle, is much lower than in a gasoline-powered vehicle. However, when EV batteries catch fire, they burn very hot and present different dangers like electric shock, toxic fumes and runoff, lithium burns, and reignition. Remember, I mentioned that as part of his sentence, Trevor Milton might be forced to forfeit property later on. I wonder if he owns a Nikola truck and if that'll be considered worth anything when that time comes. Thanks for watching Sharper Point. Click to see more from Arizona's Morning News and tap the button in the middle to subscribe.